All right, hello everybody. We're here today to do uh, some fractions, some fractions <coughs> with um, Sam. Hello, Sam. Hello. Sam's in year two, <coughs> so for that purpose, we're going to recognize and interpret common uses of halves and quarters of shapes and collections from the Math Scope and Sequence Foundation to Year Three. So, alrighty. Alrighty, Sam. Oh, what do we have here? A whole apple. Is it a whole apple? Yes, it is. Okie dokie. Um, so, with do you know what fractions are? Yes, I do. What are fractions? Um, it's uh, it's about halves, quarters, and holes. Yeah, so it's when parts together make a whole, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, what happens if I do that? It becomes two halves. Two halves. So the two halves together make a whole. Exactly. <coughs> and <coughs> what happens if we split the half, the half into halves? Um, that makes a quarter. That makes a quarter. So if the two halves are split, how many quarters do we have? Um, four. So, so let's put them together. So how many quarters make a whole? Um, four. Can you count them for me? Okay. Count the quarters. Okay. You can count. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Exactly. Let's put them all together. Oh. Oh. And there's our whole yep. apple. Excellent. Okay. Let's look at these guys. Here's some Lego. Oh. Let's say that this is a whole piece. Yeah. If that's a whole piece, mm -hmm. what's that? A half. A half. So how many halves make a whole? Um, two. Exactly. So, if I could split the half into two, I would get these two, right? Yep. So, if you have, you put the other two bits on that one. Okay. So, what was that again? What was the grey piece? Was a half. Hmm? So what do you think the white and white pieces are? Quarters. Quarters, exactly. So how many halves make a whole? If you put them on here, how many halves make a whole? Two. And how many quarters make Four. a whole? Four. Exactly. So let's see how we write fractions. Do you know how we write fractions? Yes, yes I do. Can you write a whole for me in a fraction? Okay. That's a whole, yep. That's that's a whole circle, right? Yeah. Can you do a half a circle for me? Okay. Great. And can you do a quarter circle for me? Okay. Might struggle a bit with that. Yeah, that's great. <clears throat> do you know what else you can do? You can go like this. Two halves. Yeah. Four quarters. Nice. Exactly. So, <clears throat> what we can also do is write them. So, this is how we write a whole. So that's one over one <coughs> is a whole. <coughs> so, let me just put a whole, right? Yeah. If you want to write a half, you write one over two. That's a half. So that's a whole. One over one is a whole because you've got one over one, right? Mm -hmm. Here you have 
1 over 2. That's a half. So if we want to write a quarter, so this is a whole, that's a half, and now we want to write a quarter. How do you think we write a quarter? If that's 1 over 1, that's 1 over 2, which is halves. Actually, I'll do this. This is easier. So that's how we write a whole. That's how we write a half. And if I put these four quarters here, how do you think we write a quarter? Excellent. That's exactly right. So this number on the bottom is equal to... One yeah. for a whole, two for a half, and four for a quarter. Exactly. That's good, <coughs> Sam. Let's give you a big, nice tick for that exercise. And thank you for your help. Yes, you're very welcome, my, my good sir. <laughs> my good man. <laughs>